What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Monday, November 18th. In today's video, we're going to be covering what has happened over the past weekend, and it has been wild. The dog rune token and the rune ecosystem has been booming. We've seen a huge capital inflow of money flowing into both of these ecosystems, and we're going to cover it in this video. And also, what we're going to be covering is not just the mainstream media news outlets, pretty much highlighting runes and specifically DOG, but also another centralized exchange listing that could be happening and that is Binance Futures listing. Now, what does that look like? What is that all about? Let's look into the charting analysis at the very end of the video because you will be surprised what we could be experiencing in the next week or so. So let's go ahead and begin by smashing that like button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page and our X platform, and please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So right now, the dog rune token is hovering around a 680 million market. Believe it or not, over the weekend, it hit $800 million in terms of its market. We haven't seen this market in quite some time since June of 2024. Now, look at this. Community sentiment has been manipulated by bots. Don't worry. I'm going to explain to you what that's all about at the very end of the video. Let's go ahead and go down to the centralized exchange spot listings. So, so far, we're seeing major inflows and outflows at Gate.io, Mexi, and many other ones as well. But check this out. Look at the perpetuals. The perpetuals in the multi millions of dollars. This is crazy to see this amount of traffic happening with the dog rune token. Now, in terms of daily volume, you're seeing that right now in the blue, which is dog over the moon, has the most volume, and there's a reason for that. But it's not just that, we're seeing the whole runes ecosystem come back in a huge boom. And not only that, the runes ecosystem, in terms of its mark cap, just recently flipped BRC20's market cap. And that is huge because runes are now becoming the number one fungible token standard on Bitcoin. And let's look at the current market cap right now. It's still hovering around a $1.89 billion market cap. And based on what I'm seeing here, yes, we're getting close to hitting the previous all-time high, which was around $2.1 billion, and that was also back in June of 2024. So we're slightly getting there. And also, let's talk about Bitcoin dominance. Now, if you haven't noticed, this is what Crypto Rover just reported. It appears that Bitcoin dominance has topped, and altcoin season has begun. That means that runes as well has begun their bull rally. So right now you're at the very early stages of a bull run for runes. Now let's look at Dog of the Moon in terms of its stats on Magic Eden. Right now 700 million mark cap and we've garnered around 200 new holders. So that's really cool to see. Over 3,000 trades in just in one day. That's around $3 million just on Magic Eden alone. That's absolutely nuts. And I want to share some other things. Dogfather ended up creating two different charts, which I can't wait to share with you. Now, the first thing we're going to share with you is the most decentralized rune tokens as ranked by percentage owned by the top 100 addresses, aka wallets. And as you can see, just within the rune ecosystem, Dog of the Moon is the most decentralized. But let's just not compare the runes with runes. Let's compare runes with other meme coins on different chains, such as Ethereum and Solana. And still, Dog outweighs and is the most decentralized token than any other meme coin on Solana or Ethereum. It even beats SPX 6900, Popcat, which are pretty much Murad's favorite tokens. So this just goes to show you that no matter what, free and fair is the ultimate movement. And that's why we're seeing everybody from different chains such as Solana and Ethereum flock over to runes and more specifically dogs. And also pups as well. Pups has actually garnered a lot of attention as well in terms of decentralization. So you can see that Bitcoin tokens such as dog and pups are leading the charge. Let's talk about crypto YouTubers talking about dog. Now, Crypto Wendy has been very bullish on dog. She actually received her 889,000 dog token airdrop because she owned a runestone ordinal. We also have Cash Lab who created a dedicated video just on dog that came out just yesterday. It's an amazing description and an amazing narrative around the birth of dog and how it's playing out today. And then we also have Dusty BC who has 162,000 followers listing dog as one of his top five crypto meme coins for the 2025 bull run. Then we also have Crypto Slam, who actually reported on Dog. But what was great about this video that I have to give a shout out about is that he talked about it's not just about Kraken, right? Basically, you need to strap the F in is what he said, because Kraken is just the first domino effect of what's going to happen with centralized exchange listings going to list Dog on not just perpetuals or futures, but also for spot trading. And then last but not least, I have to give a shout out again for Dan from Crypto Capital Ventures, who also made a dedicated Dog video talking about where dog targets are going to be. And it's following the exact same trend 
as Dogecoin. It's absolutely crazy how he found out that Dog is almost playing exactly the same pattern as early stages of Dogecoin. That's absolutely crazy. And believe it or not, when he made that video, it was at a 500 million mark cap. Then Kraken announced the perpetual trading and that sent the token skyrocketing. So you gotta give a shout out to Dan. Now, before we start talking about mainstream media and centralized exchange listings, I actually saw this one specific post from Aaron who responded to my tweet today when I said, good morning, dog army. And when he posted this, he says, guess what? The dog chart pattern is looking very familiar. Now, if you haven't noticed, the dog chart is actually kind of looking very similar to Bitcoin. If you compare this specific dog chart to the early stages of Bitcoin, it's almost exactly the same. Now let's talk about centralized exchanges now. This is a really important talk. So obviously today, OKX from China, they ended up tweeting about Dog Out of the Moon's gain over the past 24 hours. Now OKX has a decentralized rune marketplace, but could this be a hint to listing Dog Out of the Moon or maybe runes in general for spot trading on their OKX centralized exchange? Well, they absolutely could be positioned perfectly for that since they already have the infrastructure for it. But it's not just that. Let's give a shout out to Kraken Pro. Kraken Pro is the reason why we're seeing this huge catalyst event for Dog Dog and runes because they were the first tier one centralized exchange to list dog in the United States for perpetual trading. And they have been absolutely engaging with the dog army. So they said, choose your fighter. This was regards to Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson on Netflix. Lita Nida said, I chose dog and Kraken exchange replies back. Not only that, what did I notice? The Kraken FX exchange reposted Leonidas's free and fair movement message. And the reason that's important is because in the specific message, he says Kraken never asked for dog to pay a listing fee. Kraken never asked for dog to provide market makers. Why is that important? Because free and fair with dog means we do not pay the centralized exchange listing fees. We do not pay for market makers because that's very manipulative. That treats retail investors as exit liquidity. So there is no token allocation for insiders, for team members, for co-influencers, and for centralized exchanges. So Kraken honors that. And this is the very first stage of tier one centralized exchange listings following the narrative and the meta of free and fair. Matthew Barbie, who we have to thank for this because he's the VP of growth over at Kraken said, Bitcoin is going much higher. Then he lists all these other things saying that the wider Bitcoin ecosystem is going to explode. Bitcoin layer twos will make faces. Ordinals will also have another big run. Runes haven't even gotten started. 2025 is gonna be fire. We gotta give a shout out to Matthew. He sees what's going to happen with runes because we just had Coindesk report on the meme coin ecosystem within Bitcoin, talking about not just dog, but also pups and also billion dollar cat, also understanding the scalability. This is something that you need to pay attention to. So right now Coindesk is just one of the very first articles talking about meme coins. And this is how it all begins before a rally happens. Now, another one I wanna talk about is Decrypt Media. Now, why do I want to talk about Decrypt Media? They talked about DOG specifically hitting a five month high amid Dogecoin hype with exchange listing hope at the end, but not just that. Pay attention to this. Bitcoin based meme coin, Dog of the Moon, has leapt into highs not seen since June as speculation swirls around a potential future listing on Binance. Further down, they said Binance did not immediately return Decrypt's request for confirmation on that point. This is very important. Don't worry, I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. Now, what this basically is, is that when we go to the website, which you can only see outside the US because Binance is not available within the US, except it's Binance US. So based on this specific thing, if you type in Rune in the search engine under this link for Binance Futures, when you type in Rune, and you scroll down, you're going to see dog. And why is that really important? So basically a whole bunch of community members nominated dog for it to be under review for Binance futures. So what happens at this point? Well, if you don't know, if your token is listed for futures or perpetual trading, that typically happens right before a spot listing that happens on Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, crypto.com, every tier one exchange that you know of right now, they go through the perpetuals and futures first before a spot listing. So this is very huge for not just dog, but also the runes ecosystem. And that's why you're seeing the huge room boom that you're seeing right now. So let's just go ahead and fast forward real quick. Remember when I talked about the whole ranking in terms of community sentiment earlier with dog? Well, remember back on November 15th, which was just a few days ago, we had 23,000 votes with 94% bullish sentiment. Now the token price of dog was 530 million mark cap. Then we saw the Kraken announcement for perpetual trading that skyrocketed the price to over $700 million. But did you notice something? Just within a day of that announcement, 
We have over 59,000 votes now, but the community sentiment is down 40%. So that's 36,000 bots that really attack dog room. Now, why is that? Here's my theory, and this is what you need to pay attention to. Now, did you know that Binance acquired CoinMarketCap back in April of 2020? Now, if you go to CoinMarketCap, have you noticed something? Even though DOG stands at around a 700 million mark cap, it's not ranked perfectly. Look at this, it's ranked at 206. That's incorrect. Look at the token above that. It's a 355 million mark cap. Why isn't DOG above this one? Well, there could be some manipulation here. And maybe Binance Futures or Binance in general is making bots attack DOG. This is just my theory, this is just my thesis, is attacking the sentiment, making it seem like it's not a wanted or in-demand token because they want people to not be interested in it because they're actually going to be listing it for spot trading. That's my theory. Now look at CoinGecko. It actually perfectly ranks DOG in the right way, which is ranked 138 above all these other altcoins, especially above GigaChad, above SPX6900. So that's what I think is going on. That's just my personal perspective, but I wanna get into the charting and analysis. So basically this is what we're seeing here. So this is what I'm seeing in terms of the price. So we saw these huge candlesticks. Now keep in mind, these are not God candles. This is not the God candle pump. It has not been priced in yet. Look at the volume here volume back in june we are not seeing that just yet so right now when you're seeing this pump it's not that big compared to this one so this is not the pump that you're supposed to see this was just in reaction to kraken and binance but this is not in a reaction to spot listing the spot announcements haven't happened yet and you're going to see that token price pump until then you're going to possibly see a tr retracement back at around a 670 million mark cap which it did for a second there and it could hover around that specific phase but what i'm seeing here is a potential bull flag now a potential bull flag basically looks like this. So you have to create the pull for that specific flag. Then you have to take that flag and put it at the price here, and that puts it at around a $1.1 billion mark cap. That's just basically a bull flag right there. But also what we need to pay attention to is the MACD. Look at this, the MACD isn't actually that bullish just yet. We actually are at the early stages of a buyer's market. And you're seeing that these histograms are actually getting closer and closer to the upside. So that's basically what we're seeing. And also in terms of RSI, right now the RSI is showing that right now we could experience another retracement to the downside. So that's why we could see a retracement back to $670 million mark cap. And the reason I'm saying that is mainly because we actually already met the RSI top right here. See, the top right here is met here, 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 and here. So that's where we're seeing the top as of right now. But the thing is with the MACD, we actually haven't seen a top. Look at this, the top is actually right here, this green line, and we're not even close to it. And I still predict that we are gonna hit a $1.2 billion mark cap and shoot above a $1 billion mark cap. But right now we have to see some retracements and consolidation before we experience that next pump. So be very patient for the next few days, maybe even up to a week for that to happen. So as a conclusion and statement, this is what we're seeing. We're seeing that right now, Binance and Kraken are getting ready for a spot listing and possibly other exchanges are gonna follow lead in that. And you're seeing the manipulation with bots happening with the community sentiment. This is all telling me that yes, we're going to have a spot listing. I've seen this happen a ton and ton of times back in 2021, back in 2020. This happened with meme coins and also altcoins. I'm seeing it play out again. And I've told you, over and over why Dog of the Moon is very undervalued. This is not supposed to be at a $700 million mark cap. The lowest this is supposed to be, if this were to make up just 1% of Bitcoin's mark cap, it would have to be $18 billion. And you're not gonna believe me, but it's supposed to be $18 billion at least at just 1% of Bitcoin's mark cap. If you think about Shiba Inu, if you think about Dog Whiff Hat, both on their native change of both Ethereum and Solana, they're both at 3% to 4%. Why can't Dog of the Moon at the largest blockchain and the most decentralized coin be at 1% at least? That'll be $18 billion dollar mark cap but most people won't believe me most people will say this is trash most people will say bitcoin mean coins are just absolutely non-existent but don't listen to that noise this is why you subscribe to our channel this is why you watch our videos so thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and i cannot wait to read them so as always be sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel don't forget to join our patreon page and our x platform to receive all of our alpha calls and trades regarding dog and moon till then see you guys and girls next time